This holiday season, we once again introduce you to Pope Francis through some of his closest friends, from the woman whose children he baptized and calls every birthday. I knew that he would phone me, but I didn't expect that he phoned me so quick. To this man. You are the Pope's rabbi. <laughs> Let us say so. Rabbi Abraham Skorka has been a close friend of the Jesuits since he was an archbishop in Argentina. I knew him very, very well, uh, that he's a revolutionary. We'll talk to President Obama about whether this revolutionary is influencing his politics. Buonasera. And we'll hear how seriously the Pope takes his position as successor to St. Peter. When he met one day the uh, people from Jesuit school and there was a little girl that asked him, ah, did you want to be a pope? And he said, you have to be crazy to, to, to want to be a pope. We're about to visit a place few people have seen firsthand. There's about two so, million printed books. Two million printed books. The Vatican Library, a vast collection of historic treasures beyond compare. Peter Episcopo. The library's most valued documents go back almost 2,000 years, nearly to the time of St. Peter. The name of God. And from the same period, the Gospel of Luke and part of the Gospel of John. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was God. 